Hey, what's happening, people? Uh, the new Godax slogan is this power to more technology is trying to say something about the upcoming changes they want to do to their uh, Flash lineup system. They will release a new Flash, uh, what they believe is a turning point on their uh, whole lineup. The Flash will going to be released in May. Uh, I think all these changes started with the Nano Remote and uh, it continued a little bit with the V1 Pro and is going full circle with the new upcoming Flash which shows the new direction Godax is going to and what should we expect from them. We'll talk about the new Flash in a minute. Everything uh, about the Nano Remote uh, is brand new and uh, revolutionary. Uh, they are pretty far ahead of other system and uh, it has a small size, intuitive controls and very modern LCD uh, screen. It looks slick, has a color uh, interface, and the experience of uh, using this uh, remote is great. But uh, with the V1 Pro, I feel like they didn't go all in because they only went with the partial changes. They uh, added the sub-flash, the TCM to M button to the side, uh, the, they corrected the tint uh, of the flash, and it has the, the battery has an LCD uh, charging port. Uh, but uh, the back of uh, the the flash, the LCD screen, it, it looks very outdated and special comparing with the new LCD screen from the uh, Nano Remote. A few weeks ago, uh, Adorama, which rebrands the Godox to uh, the name Flashpoint, but is the same product, had announced uh, the new Flashpoint Explore 600 Special Edition. Of course, uh, I pre-ordered it and uh, it looks like uh, all going to be released Next month, somewhere in May 15, I should put my hands on it. And of course, I'm going to report back and I will uh, do a full review on it. From the specs, it doesn't uh, look like it's too different from the Explore 600, but it has two major changes. The more powerful modeling light and a full color LED panel, which is matching the uh, new uh, nano remote uh, LCD panel. I think the user experience will gonna be better. It will give a little a more a modern look to an already a very good battery operated uh, strobe. It will have a color coded group LED lights uh, on the side of the body, which will help to identify uh, which group is your flash from the distance. And it's awesome because you don't have to guess which one is which. You get just assign a color for different group. But uh, we look at all these uh, products, the remote, the V1, the Explore 600, we see that only uh, the remote uh, got the full makeover. From hardware to software, everything is new. The V1 got some changes, but not the full 360. And uh, also the Explore 600 got the LCD panel, but not much of the hardware. Now, uh, the big question is uh, why the V1 Pro uh, didn't come out with the new uh, LCD panel yet. Uh, it would make more sense to match the uh, nano trigger because they were released at the same time and they were um, kind of uh, make to, to match together to be a, a, a new system. And I guess a new uh, V1 with the Pro with an, a new LCD um, a panel on the back all going to uh, be the one of the most uh, uh, advanced uh, flash uh, uh, on, the, on the market uh, right now. And uh, having all these changes incorporated and uh, and the remote, you know, some other um, changes in the V1 and some uh, new changes on the Explore X100, it kind of like tells us the uh, a little bit of the story Godax is planning. What flash you guys think will get the the facelift uh, next? For some reason, I think they will go with the Explore 300, 400 first before they will come down to 200, 100 and V1. Also, I'm curious which one is your favorite Godox flash. Please comment below and let me know which one you guys like the most. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please check out my channel for more lighting tutorials and gear reviews. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.